Hello, everyone. My name is Tai Bo from the uh, Multimedia Lab, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm here to, de uh, to present our work, Detecting Visual Relationships with Deep Relational Networks. It's a joint work with Yu Qi and my supervisor, Da Hua Lin. And uh, when we understand images, it is not enough to understand only the objects. Visual relationships are also important. Visual relationships refer to the mutual states of two uh, pairs of objects. And as shown in this uh, page, these two images all, uh, both contain same objects, namely a man and a woman. But their semantics are completely different uh, due to their interactions, namely arguing and kissing are different. And this is not a coincidence. Let's look at another pair of images where two objects have different spatial positions. Again, the semantics of these two images are different due to the different spatial positions. And the interactions and the spatial positions are both certain types of visual relationships that we will encounter. And in this work, we propose a unified framework to detect them all. And we formulate this problem as follows. Each visual relationship will be represented using a triplet consisting of three components, namely the subject, the relation predicate, and the object. And besides recognizing the labels for the triplet, we have to also locate the triplet in the original image. And following uh, the problem formulation, there are two different approaches that can solve the task. The first approach is that, just like object detection, we can treat each distinct triplet separately and train a separate detector. However, this approach will face a serious issue that is computational redundancy. Uh, to specifically, if uh, in this approach, we will have to train a detector for uh, main sofa, main chair, main bench, and so on. The number of uh, detectors will be huge, even when uh, even we uh, have only a small number of objects or predicates. In fact, in our data set, we have over 70,000 distinct triplets. If uh, we train each uh, distinct triplet for a uh, using a separate detector, the, this, will, this will cause huge uh, uh, computational cost. And uh, another approach is that we can treat each component separately. That is, uh, specifically, we can separately detect the subject, the object, and the predicate, and then group them together uh, to get the triplet results. However, uh, this approach have another issue, that is uh, intra-class variance of predicates. As shown in this page, uh, the samples from predicates on and eight vary from case to case, depending heavily on the uh, involved subject and the object. And to overcome these uh, issues and uh, take advantage of both approaches, our basic idea is that at first, we treat each component separately. Uh, specifically, we detect the objects first and then uh, form a set of object pairs. And then, uh, Upon the uh, object pairs, we will use joint recognition based on multiple facts to get the triple results. And specifically, our pipeline is that uh, given an input image, we will first using state-of-the-art object detectors to get, to get the objects. And the objects will be uh, paired up to form a set of object candidates, where we will apply a pair filter to filtering out the less important uh, candidates and upon the remaining uh, candidates, we will uh, use joint recognition to get the triplet results. And uh, uh, in joint recognition, we use three factors. The first factor is the visual appearance, uh, which is the enclosed uh, subregion of the two objects in the original image. And the second factor is the spatial cues. Uh, re uh, the, which means the relative locations of the two objects in the original image. And the spatial cues will be represented using two binary masks. And the third factor is the sp statistical dependencies among the uh, components of triplet. The statistical dependency analysis is the most important part in our method. Uh, the insight behind this is that there are strong correlations among the components of triplets. To prove, uh, to prove this insight, we have computed the entropy of P predicate as well as the conditional entropy of P predicate conditional on the subject and the object. The results are respectively 2.88 and 1.21. 
uh, the results clearly show the strong connections among the components of triplets. And qualitatively, if we have a pair, object pair, man and skateboard, the predicate is more likely to be on rather than it. And the classical method for modeling such uh, statistical dependencies are conditional random fields. However, uh, CRFs have some uh, limitations. The first one is gap between the training and the inference. Because uh, in training, we often optimize the joint distribution. But when we do inference, uh, we care about the inference accuracy. And the second uh, limitation is that it is often hard to train the CRFs together with the feature extraction net in an end-to-end -end manner. And to overcome these limitations and inspired by the uh, re recent trends, we decided to uh, unroll the inference procedure of the CRFs. Uh, specifically, uh, we all know the inference procedure of CRFs is an iteration, iterative updating procedure. And each iteration can be represented using a set of computing layers. So we enroll the, uh, unroll the inference procedure into a neural network as shown in this animation. Uh, we refer to this neural network as DRNet. Compared to traditional CRFs, DRNet can be trained discriminatively and can be easily combined with the feature extraction net uh, trained in an end-to-end -end manner. And it's worth noting that our uh, DRNet is different from the model CRF SRN, as DRNet captures inter-domain dependencies, and the nodes can have different types or cardinalities. And uh, all multiple, uh, we have compared our method to multiple state-of-the-art methods, including video phrase, uh, which detect each distinct triplet separately, and uh, uh, visual relationship detection with language prior, which uh, is the previous state-of-the-art method published in uh, ECCV 2016. And on multiple tasks, our methods show great improvements. Specifically, on the task of predicate recognition, uh, the previous state of the art got recall around uh, 48, and our method got recall around 82. The uh, re relative gain is around 17%. And on union box detection, uh, we, have, uh, we have also improved the state of the art by six points. And uh, on two box detect two boxes detection, an improvement of six points are also, is also observed. And in the ablation study, we found that using the appearance feature only can got a recall around the uh, 63. And adding the spatial cues uh, could raise the recall to 72. And uh, using CRFs to model the statistical dependencies could further raise the recall to 73. And using DRNet could re uh, r raise the recall to 82. And the results. Uh, clearly show the benefit of using DRNet to capture uh, the d d statistical dependencies among components of Triplet. And uh, our method can be used in many higher level applications. For example, our method can be used to extract scene graphs from images, which are structure representations of the original images. And the uh, scene graphs can be further uh, used to generate descriptions uh, or retrieve similar images. And to put it in a nutshell, our method is an effective visual relationship detector that combines spatial and visual cues, as well as uh, statistical dependencies among the components of triplet. And as our method, depending on state-of-the-art object detectors, which already exist in many systems, our method can be plugged into many applications with minimal extra cost. And if you are uh, interested in more details, you can reach me at post number nine. And thank you for listening.